Welcome back to the Maple Brick Academy. This is Bob Holmes. This is our second uh, series of on the wall repeating, removal, and protection. So if you missed the first video, let's recap what I did and maybe you can go back and, and watch it. So we have a repeating wall. We applied Prosico heavy duty paint stripper with a 12 hour dwell. We covered with plastic. Basically an overnight dwell. We came back, rinsed it with a thousand pounds pressure with a 25 to 40 degree nozzle. And then we, because of the porosity of the brick and the fact that it is brick, we substituted restoration cleaner, Prosico restoration cleaner at one to one as the neutralizer, which helped remove the shadow. So it's dry now and here's our result. You can see a definite line. It looks like we got nearly, I'd say we got it all off. So it was, it's quite an ordeal to get that off like that with the long dwell time. So uh, today is going to be number one to see how we did. We did good. Number two is to explain that there is an option that you can have uh, as far as something to help remove the graffiti easier if it were to get tagged again. The product that we're gonna put on the day is Prosico Block Guard and Graffiti Control. We're gonna do it a wet on wet application. So this is a silicone based product, which is a water repellent. So it's still breathable. It's not gonna trap moisture in the wall. Uh, because it's a silicone, things don't like to stick to silicone. So because it's a silicone, it's really tough not a film former so it's not trapping moisture and it might slightly darken the wall uh, it depends on the substrate so we're going to do the application now we're going to do it in a traditional wet on wet application which is bottom to top let it soak in and go back down and bottom to top traditional pump up sprayer nothing fancy needed we want to put it on slow enough that we get a rundown onto the brick below because we're doing this for graffiti protection we want to make sure that we get a good even coat surface, allow for a four to six inch run down, uh, and this is your run down here. You, you let the materials dry into the wall, and you can see it's pretty shiny now, but as it soaks in, it'll dull out. And when it's soaked in, we apply the second coat. That drives the first coat in deeper, but it also gives us more protection on the exterior. Uh, the thing about Posico Block Guard and Graffiti Control that you must remember, it's an RTV silicone, so that stands for Room Temperature Vulcanizing, so it won't keep. Once you open the container and air gets in it, it's going to eventually start to set up. And if you have a bottle that's not new and it's been stored, when you spray it, it'll clog up uh, like little jello shots or in the bottle because it's starting to cure. So it's an air cured product. Uh, you can apply it at almost any temperature. You don't want to apply it over frost. So this is soaked in pretty good. Uh, we're going to hit it the second time. The second time is always going to be faster because you've loaded it up with material on the first time. cure out for five to seven days we'll come back and observe it and then we're going to spray paint we're going to tag this area and re-tag this area and then we're going to 
show the benefits of using a graffiti prevention product like Prosico Block Art and Graffiti Control. So we'll see you on the next On the Wall series. Thank you.